Hey kittens! <laughs> hey guys, it's Peter. Did you just watch my video that I posted a little while ago? I mean, I watched that video back, you guys. I didn't hate it, but I was like, and I thought, they are gonna watch this and be like, what is that manic crap that we just watched? Just another manic Monday, except it's Wednesday. Okay, so I watched that video and what I realized was I literally, I'm like a stone on the water of gossip, skipping through issues, 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 without talking about any of them. But that's kind of who I am, so I don't really care. But I did want to say, I wanted to go back and say a couple things about some of the issues because several people have messaged me about two things. And the first thing is, so many people, this is like way like too close. Let's just back up on that a little bit. Nobody needs to see Peter that close. But anyway, um, and you can see I'm, of course, in the bad lighting again because it's night, it's 8.30. So anyway, I don't know what that is. But anyway, two things that people message me about regularly because I'm now like this big, huge gossip channel is um, number one, they message me about what a shit Jeffree Star is and that they hope that I learn that at some point in my life. And number two, the second thing that they message me about is what do I think about Nick Snyder and Kat from um, The Glamorous Life? So I'm going to talk about those two things. Yeah, and um, I'm still like, okay, you guys, I was on my way home from work and I was like scanning through the videos and now Bonnie or whoever, I, I, I don't remember who it is, but the Vegan Cheetah has yet up another video <gasps> about this Freela the Banana Girl and <laughs> Harley. Okay, I just want to say this one thing, you guys. I got laughing so hard. Like you guys sit here and you comment in my comment section and you talk about how like you spit out your drink while you're watching my videos. Okay, I truly don't think I'm that funny, but let me just tell you something that the Vegan Cheetah read yesterday that I literally was drinking coffee and I spit it out, okay? So apparently at one point, and I'm not, hey, listen, when you're in an abusive relationship, how you define abuse is up to the victim. So I'm not gonna get into all of that and I don't want this to be a political one anyway, right? But freely in these comments <clears throat> made some comment about how Harley used to say things to her or on her videos or something. First of all, if she ever, if he ever said it on a video, then she needed to edit that part out. But something to the effect of that he would fuck freely uh, balls deep. How deep, baby? Two, two inches deep? <laughs> Who says that about their girlfriend on camera and anybody lets them get away with that? I mean, seriously. I would so put somebody in their place if they said that about me. I think that is so classless and that, ugh. So anyway, and just to imagine the two of them having sex, I swear to God, you guys, I do not get her. I do not understand why people are in love with this freely, freely the banana girl. I mean, she literally stands behind a banana and makes, or behind a blender and makes smoothies. It's not that deep, okay? I don't even have to say that I'm a vegan and I can make you some smoothies, so just come over. But anyway, about the Nick Snyder and, is it catnip? I think it's catnip, like that shit you feed your cat so they get high. But anyway, so I watched a video about him the other day where he's like, I'm talking about the glamorous life. I love Nick so much. And I'm like, he goes back and forth between talking about cat and the glamorous life, I think. And then he was talking about this like group chat they did in Periscope. Okay, first of all, I don't understand all this Periscope stuff, you guys. Sanders is on Periscope and he's on, and Nick Snyder's on Periscope and all these people are on Periscope. I was on Periscope like a year and a half ago and I got real bored of it real quick. Is that the one where the hearts come rushing up and all that stuff? Should I get on Periscope? Would that make me relevant? I don't know. But anyway, I never really thought it was that exciting. This chair keeps on sliding back. But, so I started watching his video about the glamorous life and how she only calls when she needs something and all this kind of stuff and how she said this about him and she stirred up all this kind of shit and whatever. And then I went and I like watched a bunch of her videos and I thought this surely can't be, and don't call me Shirley, this surely cannot be who Nick Snyder is talking about, okay? This like 50 plus woman who does like makeup things that she likes different kinds of makeup and she talks about running errands in her house in Arizona. I mean, is this, is this who we're threatened by? I did not understand it, okay? First of all, she's a dead ringer for Karen Black and House of a Thousand Corpses. Second of all, I would not trust that woman with a makeup brush on my face to save my life, okay? She is painted with a brick for days. Now, Catnip, I think you seem real sweet. I love your channel. I think you probably appeal real well to, you know, the age point of 53 to 56. 
have at it. I think anybody in the world that wants to make a YouTube channel should. You know, people call me old. I mean, Diva Attitude said, What does this old ass man talk about RuPaul's Drag Race for? I don't even watch RuPaul's Drag Race. But anyway, you might. You might get a few tips, sweetie. But anyway, I don't understand what this hate is between this Nick Snyder and this, uh, what's your face, catnip. Hi, kittens. Creeped me out. That's what I think of catnip. Creepy, okay? Seems real sweet. Uh, if she was my neighbor and she was like, hey, you want to come over for some lemonade and maybe do a tutorial? I'd say, uh, no thanks, baby. I got plans. But anyway, she seems real nice. Like, I mean, I could imagine her being like friends with my stepmom or something like that. My stepmom's only 12 years older than me, so I'm not dogging her, okay? But like, I don't understand what this hatred is between you two. First of all, Nick, you are a supermodel ranked number four on Forbes, okay? You are the face. Vogue, 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 of Prada, okay? Prada. Now, I got a Prada messenger bag that cost me about $1,200, and I love it, but that's about as deep as I'm going to be getting into Prada. You're the face of Prada. Why are you fucking with her? Le Don't make videos about her. Forget her. She's... Listen, she's retired in Arizona. Leave her be, okay? You are the face of Prada. Don't forget that, Nick. So that's what I think about the whole drama between Nick and Catnip. I don't really understand it. You guys, I don't want to say a whole lot bad about Nick because I love Nick. I think his videos are hilarious. And I think he really likes to stir drama up a little bit. And I think he really does get all, like, frustrated by all this shit. And I totally get it, too. Like, if people started coming for me, like, I, you guys, I'm starting to get the negative comments. And I knew it would happen. I was starting to get ready about it, you know. And people are like, oh, this. Or when, I, when you opened your mouth, I didn't expect you to sound like that. Get over it. I'm not making a video about it to somebody specifically. I don't really care. And the only reason I mentioned that diva attitudes, she uh, tweeted out to me, oh, I came for Peter Mon. And my response to that was, you sure did, sweetie. You sure did. And P.S., you're beautiful. Because she is. But I'm not going to make a video about her. Hey, I, and I even tweeted her and I said, I'm going to link your video below so that you'll get a little exposure for it because I've been doing YouTube for two weeks and I have 1,100 subscribers. You've been doing it for eight years and you need to, you have 200 subscribers. So I think you need some help. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Rachel Adler, who did the video, the car vlog about me, you guys are like, why are you making these comments about people doing videos about you? Because they asked or they're nice enough to do it or whatever. Rachel did another video about me today and it was really, really sweet. And she explained in there what a, a gay crush is and all this kind of stuff. And she said that it hurt her feelings, I think, that I didn't critique her videos or her channel. I, baby, I don't have anything bad to say. If I don't say anything bad about your channel, that means I love your channel. That means I don't have anything bad to say. You do car, car vlogging. I love car vlogging. Keep it up. You know, do playlists, car vlogging, house vlogging, whatever. Don't do a makeup channel. Don't. Please don't. I, I can't stand. We don't need another makeup channel to save our lives, okay? Seriously, we don't. And if you're going to do makeup channels, do something creative. I loved <clears throat> Manny MUA. So cute. Is he not so cute? Okay, so Manny MUA did um, how I did my uh, makeup in high school, and it was like three minutes and 14 seconds or something. And I knew before going into it what he was going to do. I knew what his little shtick was. I'm not going to tell you. Go watch the video. But I was already like, I mean, I know Manny well enough because I totally stalked him and obsessed over all of his videos. So I already knew what the story was. But it was so cute how he did it. Like, if you're going to do, a, if you're going to do like a makeup video, do something different. Okay, by the way, I dogged this Karina Kaboom so bad, right? Well, I had kept on coming up in these videos about the Graveyard Girl. I think her name is Bunny. And, um, like, Karina Kaboom did a video about her and how these, I don't know, these vegan twins came after her. And then somebody else came after her. Why are people coming after this Bunny, the Graveyard Girl, you guys? I watched her videos last night. I was like, I want her as my best friend. Can you imagine? Okay, you guys have watched enough of my videos now and know that I'm like, la, 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 la. can you imagine me and Bunny being together? It would be absolute insanity. Stop the insanity. It would be absolute, absolute insanity. Okay? So anyway, but I watched the video. Karina Kaboom goes after these guys. I mean, what? Whew, you guys, Karina Kaboom. It's like, okay, if I had a team that like I wanted to get real revved up for winning something, I would have them watch that Karina Kaboom, Trisha Paytas video. She is so angry in that video. And at the end of it, she's like, um, 
I know I'm a little worked up, a little. And sweetie, you're a beauty channel. Why are you petting your hair, hair every five seconds? Your fingers are running through it. It's making your hair oily. No, no, I'm not even a beauty person and I know that. You're what, you constantly run your fingers through your hair. And don't get one of those shorty hairdos where everybody's like, I want to have shorty hairdo. And who knew that Karina Kaboom was a vegan? I guess a lot of people, people told me about that. But let me just say what I have to say about Jeffree Star. On to the next thing. Several people have commented to me that Jeffree Star is a douchebag, a racist, all this kind of stuff. And they're like, hey, I love your channel, but I hope you learn one day about Jeffree Star. So let me clear the air right now. Okay, first of all, my love for Jeffree Star, and I don't even know that I would say I love him, even though I've said that in videos. Before. I don't know him, you guys. I don't know Jeffree Star. I don't know that he's a racist. I've never met him. Has he made those comments and put those things out there where people have analyzed him and all that kind of stuff? Sure, I've seen those videos too, all right? But I'm not going to get into all of that today, and I'm not defending him. I don't know, okay? By the way, if you're interested at all at diversity, this week on BookTube, it is Diversathon, which means we're reading all of books to open our minds to diversity so that we can be better educated and more open-minded about the world. So head on over to BookTube, or head on over to my link below for my BookTube channel, and you can read all of, see all about Diversathon and read some open-minded books. This week, I'm reading Underground Railroad by Colton Whitehead. All right, little, little, just, uh public service announcement for you all. Okay, but Jeffree Star, I, I don't know him. I don't know if his relationship is fake. I don't know if his makeup sucks. I don't know if it smells like ass. I don't know if he's a racist. I don't know anything about him. I like that song, Beauty Killer. But that's it, you guys. I don't really know a whole lot about Jeffree Star. I don't really care a whole lot about Jeffree Star. And I can tell you right now, Jeffree Star don't care a whole lot about me. I'm not even on his fucking radar. I can't even believe it. I'm on Trisha Pay's radar at all. Like that just is, huh. I'm still fainting. And Charles Gross, I mean, my God. All this kind of stuff, you guys, it's a little overwhelming. I'm just like fanboying like crazy over this kind of stuff. But anyway, I don't know anything about Jeffree Star. And I'll tell you this. Don't judge a book by a cover. By its cover. So funny, you guys. In the Trisha Paytas video that... I just can't believe I just corrected that. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing. In the Trisha Paytas video where Karina Kaboom... Karina Grenade, I'm going to start calling her if she doesn't put up a video. I literally, you guys, for the last 24 hours, this is just as manic as my last video. I have been looking for a Sanders video. Well, we know he can't upload in Atlanta, so he's not going to put up a video. And then Karina Kaboom and Ooh, it's Aaron. And they're, none of them. None of them are putting up videos. None of them. You guys, I need my gossip. Come on. And the vegan cheetah is just like posting, 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 posting. He's got another video up to, another two up today, you guys, about Freely the Banana Girl. I'm choking on bananas over here. So anyway, I need some new gossip. And not about K Kid Cudi and Kanye West, because I really don't care. So anyway, <laughs> nobody could guess what I was talking about when I said, who's my, real my favorite Real Housewife of New York? And I went like that. Obviously, <laughs> it's Ramona. So anyway, was that not a good imitation? <laughs> you got you guys, I am not trying to make fun of these people, but they are so hard not to, like, imitate. And I'm sure that when somebody mocks me finally in a video, they'll be like, ah, 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 and I'll just sit there and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. But anyway, okay, in Karina Kaboom's video to Trisha Paytas, she says in there, put your mouth where your money is. Isn't the saying, put your money where your mouth is? Or is it, put your mouth where your money is? I don't even want to think about where that, I don't even want to think where some people's money is. But anyway, just saying, if you're going to do a video like that and get so hyped up like I am right now, be careful what you watch and watch your video back. That video should never have been posted, but I'm so glad it did because it was 18 minutes of just absolute craziness. So anyway, I just wanted to clear up a few of those sayings. A lot of people have asked me about that. You guys, I don't have any hate or any love for Jeffree Star. I'm really indifferent about him. I do think this. I love all the pink and purple and greens and all that kind of stuff. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It makes me just like, I watch the videos and I'm like, huh, like that. I just love it. And I love when he's just like this with his nails. And he's got all kinds of ritzy, pretty stuff. I mean, come on. Other than that, I mean, if you guys think that half these reality stars that you watch and all of these people that you idolize and whatever are absolute assholes in real life, get a clue. They are. I mean, I've met some of these people. They're horrible. You're horrible, Muriel. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that is my video for the day. If there's no gossip posted again, you know tomorrow is going to be again about Freely the Banana Girl because I'm like choking on bananas. Like I said, there's nothing else to say over here. I mean, there's nothing. There's no good gossip. So if there's no good gossip, then it's Charles Gross. And now I'm addicted to Graveyard Girl. But Bunny, I love her. But Catnip, <gasps> Yeah.
See you later.